And believe it or not, the carpenter's handsaw can actually be used as a musical instrument. And today's Kevin Hogan meets New York's saw lady. Natalia has been playing the musical saw for more than 20 years. She wants to introduce this unique art form to more people. I would like to get it to be more more known and more mainstream. One thing that sparked her interest in the saw is that it makes wave-like shapes when you play it. Playing a saw is already a very visual art form. Before learning to play the saw, she was a very committed dancer. But one moment, everything changed. I was hit by a car. And that was basically the end of my dance life. She didn't know what to do with herself after losing her ability to dance. My parents wanted to just cheer me up. And so they took me on a trip to Europe. During a trip to Austria, inspired by the movie The Sound of Music, she witnessed someone playing the saw for the first time. There it was, right in front of me, and I was mesmerized. She went backstage to ask the musician if he could teach her how to play the saw, but he declined. He said, go home, imitate what you remember me doing, and figure it out. That is the traditional way that saw players first learn the instrument. If you succeed, it's a sign that you're meant to be a saw player. If you don't succeed, forget about it. It's not for you. Her trip to Europe changed her life. What I've learned from this experience is to go outside. Give stuff the chance to come to me. Her friend sees Natalia as a kind and humble person who has given the world a gift of her beautiful music. That's what I like the most about her, is just how much she cares about the legacy of that instrument, the legacy of, of the church, the, the legacy of the community. At the time, she didn't think she was ready, but she challenged herself to perform for a senior citizens group anyway. It was like a 45 minute long performance and they loved it. Her success sparked her confidence and she began performing more and more. If you bring joy to others, in return, you get joy from them. It just happens. Natalia has performed with the Westchester Philharmonic Orchestra as well as the Manhattan Chamber Orchestra, just to name a few. She now hopes to open a saw museum with the Astoria Historical Society in New York City. Kevin Hogan, NTD News.